Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Chris and this is Regular Guy Training and today we're actually going to go over the T-Rex Arms or Orion. Um, you guys have seen me want, wear this belt, this holster, and this kind of thing for well over a year now. And it's in a very simple format more or less because I only really use it for, for one purpose. Uh, and that is, well, technically two. Uh, but I'm teaching with it most of the time and it's just a place for me to steal a bunch of stuff conveniently. And, uh, or if it's like in, in a competitive setting and that kind of thing. Um, there are times where I've worn this in like a military setting, but then I'm, uh, I'm adding a bunch of things to it and everything else. But this is just a very simple format um, that I keep it most of the time uh, to where I just have a means to carry a handgun, a couple of mags, and, and a couple of rifle magazines plus some extra crap. So let's go ahead and talk about this whole thing. Um, I've been a fan of this uh, since I picked it up. I've been a fan of this belt. Um, it's been very simple. It's been very boring in that it, it's done its job. I haven't had to deal with anything weird about um, about this particular belt in any real capacity. Uh, what is kind of cool is that you know when you go to the website and you, and you check them out, there's like a thousand different um, options that you have for like different pouches that you can add. You know, a, a way that you can mount. You know, basically like a base for Safari Land QLS uh, compatible systems and that kind of thing. Because as you saw me take off, you know, I, I got one of their Ragnaroks with a QLS fork attached to it. Um, so, you know, and then there's a lot of different pouches that you can add to it uh, fairly easily. I just had these pouches ready to go. I'm probably going to change them because uh, try as you might, you can tighten them up as much as you want to. Eventually, taco pouches get old. So I'm probably going to go to like a Kiwi system or something like that. But... What is kind of cool about this is that um, it's it's not cheap, but it's also not cheap. You see what I'm saying? It's not it's not like one of those belts where when you go uh, to put the thing on and you move around for two seconds, it tries to ride its way up uh, your waist and that kind of thing. I've dealt with that sort of thing before, and it's a colossal pain in the ass. Uh, and that's mostly because of like the rubberized texture that's that's on the inside. Uh, of the outer belt and that really really does help for a lot of different things there's, you know there's a couple suspension clips and that kind of stuff that you can use to hook all kinds of random nonsense on there I've used them for like basically anything remotely revolving around a d-ring that I need to also carry around I've used that for like chem lights keys all kinds of random shit um, mostly just the extra things that I need um, you know, I got I got one of their dump pouches on here too, and I've used it for pretty much everything but magazines. Um, you know, like extra caffeine when I was still smoking cigarettes. Freaking, uh, I've seen guys carry dip in here, and once in a great while, extra magazines if I need a few extra loaded magazines to carry. Um, you know, it, like if, if I was doing just a string of things over and over again, and I, and I didn't have the time to go back and load magazines or you know, I'm just training and I don't want to go back to the table and load a million magazines, that kind of thing. So it, it turns itself into an administrative pouch more than anything else. And I'm actually a big fan of that because, you know, even when I've used this in like a military capacity, I would just like throw notebooks and random shit in here that wasn't like sensitive, but it was stuff that I needed to have on my body nonetheless, you know. And, you know, like I, I've added things like, like, uh, small med kits and things like that to this. There's not much more that I really can add to it um, that would that wouldn't be wasteful really or, or that I couldn't throw in a bag and carry with me or what have you right um, That and when we integrate this with a plate carrier There's just a ton of options, especially if you're using something good like a cry JPC or a Mayflower APC whatever so <clears throat> when you get this you know um, you it, it, the outer and the inner belt are really what just kind of make this whole thing go round. Uh, because for me personally, right, uh, and you can see it, it's rather adjustable in that you can make this on the other side or whatever, right? Um, but I threw this on this side just so I could, you know, thread in a little bit of the extra slack that I would take up because I tighten up my belts pretty tight. Um, and then I would just thread that through so I had extra material backing up the, um, you know whatever I'm using for a holster setup at that particular time because this is either using a Ragnarok or an ALS 
or whatever else uh, can throw itself onto this. It's extremely useful. Um, and the cool thing is, is that you have, you know, your your gridded pattern for webbing and, and anything else that you would possibly need for this kind of thing. It holds itself tight, holds itself flush. I don't have to deal with a ton of bullshit, right? So realistically speaking, I mean, that that is the purpose of your belt, right? You're not trying to have it right on you all over the place. Um, you know, when you when you attach a holster to your body and that kind of stuff, um, you do want the you do want the singular leg strap to keep stuff from moving around. Particularly for me, like on a draw, I don't want the holster to try and come with it at all because I, I do want either solid passive retention or if I have active retention on it and I miss the button, I don't want the whole thing to jolt up towards me. Uh, also, if I'm if I'm running around, rolling around in dirt and that kind of stuff, I don't want I don't want the belt riding up on me. And having something attached to your leg actually helps keep that from riding up as much as possible, right? So, you know, as um, as time has gone on and as I've used this more and more, uh, I've been nothing but really uh, impressed with it, honestly. Um, you guys can see, you know, there's just enough going on here to where I can monitor a class, I can teach people, I can train myself, I can do whatever it is I got to do. And I'm carrying enough extra crap to where if I have to, I can throw, I can stow extra things. I can add a med kit or whatever it is that I need. But that really is the, the cool part about this belt, right? Um, it's not doing stuff that you have to work around. It's working with you. And if you want to add or subtract things to it, it's very easy to do. Um, and because I've had it for over a year, a lot of people have noticed that pretty much things that I hang on to or things that, that, last like a year plus tend to be really really good pieces of equipment because we're really hard on our stuff like I'm con I'm constantly moving around rolling in the dirt doing a million demos um, so whatever it is that I'm using tends to be pretty roughed up at the end of the day um, and the very last thing that I have to think about is this belt okay so if one of the very last things that I have to deal with is the thing that's carrying my handgun or, you know, my spare rifle magazines or whatever, right? If, I, if I'm constantly not worried about anything related to this, just ejecting itself into the ether, uh, especially stuff that I attach to the belt. And that's a big, that's a big plus too, because the webbing that's on here is very strong, you know? And the, the way that I figured that out too is, I mean, shit, I, I've, I've taught a bunch of vehicle classes and I've taken a few. Right. Um, so anything that gets hooked in a car is going to get pulled really hard and nothing. I've never had an issue with the belt itself. It's always hung on to my crap and made sure that, you know, I'm not leaving magazines or whole ass handguns or whatever behind. Right. So that's all that's all I can really say about this particular belt. I'm probably going to have it for a long time because just the stuff I can add and subtract to it if I if. I'm in a military capacity and I find out that I'm going to be carrying around a handgun. I usually throw this belt on because it lightens up a bunch of the stuff that I have to carry either on my chest or on my back. So is it, is it, uh, is it worth uh, consideration for people that are looking for belts to train with or battle belt setups or things to take weight off of your chest? Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll recommend this belt all day long and I've recommended it to a lot of people that have come through. Um, you know, cause say what you want about, you know, the T-Rex arms people or fucking, you know, Lucas himself, but they know how to make equipment. They know how to make equipment that's purpose driven and is absolutely shooter focused rather than trying to appease some asshole in a suit and tie someplace. Right. So, um, I can't recommend it more highly. And I suggest that if you're in the market for this kind of thing that you check it out. So that being said, guys. Um, if you want to come out and train with us, you absolutely can. We're going to Georgia this weekend. Uh, we're also going to Florida fairly soon. Uh, we are coming back here uh, in Drakesboro, Kentucky to teach more classes and that kind of stuff. And then once I have, as I've said before, uh, my, new my new military schedule, you know, then I'll start adding more stuff to the, uh, to, you know, our course calendar and that kind of stuff. You know, because fiscal year for the Army starts in October. So I got to wait. Um, but anything that's planned out to September is set in stone. We're definitely going out there. We're definitely going to go train there. So if you guys want to come out, especially with the ammo prices finally coming down, um, I would highly, highly suggest that you jump on that you jump on that train. Come out. 
that you jump on that train, come out, get taught some stuff, and we'll go from there. Uh, for those of you that want to support us on Patreon, you absolutely can. Uh, it really does help us out. And if you want to get something out of it, $41 a month gets you the chance to train with us as often as you want to. Um, so uh, as far as the industry goes, I can't find a better uh, deal than that, especially, again, even though ammo prices are coming down, they're still higher than what we were used to before. So if you want to save some money, if you want to come out and train a whole bunch, learn some things and, you know, come out and fuck around with us, you absolutely can. Um, if you want to follow us on Facebook or whatever, um, you know, link for all this stuff is in the description below. And remember, guys, regular guys fire or miss the last defense against tyranny. Be easy.